What's up guys, it's Joe and welcome back to um, uh, episode number 4 of our Pokemon Vault White Nuzlocke that we're doing here on the channel. In the last episode, uh, we were able to make it here to Stradden City and then we have to do some things with uh, the gym leaders and we're going to battle the gym leader today because uh, that's the plan for today's episode. Anyway, we did have a grinding montage so we're going to check out uh, our party right now. We have uh, our level 12 Beautiful Eye, nicknamed Tank, um, with... Uh, air cutter absorb tackle and bug bite and then we also have our level 16 snivy nicknamed smug leave with tackle leaf tornado fun with and grill so um the plan for today's episode is to uh, run on over the dream yard and uh, battle these first couple of trainers and then run back to the trainer school battle sharon and then take on the gym <laughs> so that is the big old agenda for today's episode uh, hopefully we can get all that accomplished um, I took a look at the gym leader's levels, and it looks like level 14 or 15 is his ace, and is about where most of his Pokemon are going to be. So I grinded Smugleaf up to level 16, so Smugleaf should be okay, should be okay. I know we'll be facing off against fire types, so this was just all sorts of terrible for me. And... So hopefully we do okay, and we don't lose because Silent or uh, Chili could potentially pose a lot of threats. Even though you may be like, oh, but Geo, like you have a fully evolved Pokemon and it is just spamming its stab right now, and you're just running through things, and it's fine. It like we could actually lose the lock because uh, Chili has five or six Pokemon. So we're actually going to uh, use Smug Leaf here for a little bit and uh, grind up a little bit. And I believe my Rattatas is in top percentage of Rattatas. No, really. So this is uh, Youngster Joey. Hi, Youngster Joey. And you have just a Rattata. You have just a Rattata. I'm going to go for Vine Whip here. Actually, I should be going for Leaf Tornado if I want to take the thing out. But because um, Leaf Tornado is powerful. I, I avoided the quick attack. So hold that Leaf Tornado, though. And I'm able to take Youngster Joey's head out, so that's good. And I believe this person just gives me a pan pour. Yeah, and so we actually need this pan pour because it's going to be a rotation battle. So I already know what we're going to name this pan pour. I think we're going to name it Juvia because fairy tale references. Um, J U B I A Juvia. There we go. Alright, so now we have three Pokemon. Although one of although uh, one of them is only level ten, so that's kind of annoying. But you know, you know, we can all work around it. So we're gonna run back over here to a Striden City. I'm actually gonna pick up these Pokeballs that are down here, or these Dive Balls actually. And then I'm going to heal up, then run over and battle Sharon. Um, I don't think we're gonna officially add Juvia as a member to the party. We just need it so we can have a rotation battle. And, uh, yeah. So, let's actually... Who's in front? Uh, we're gonna get Tank, hopefully up to level 14 before the gym battle, um, with this battle with Sharon. Um, so, let's go! When a Pokemon is poisoned, its HP decreases while it is battling Heijio. Have you come looking for the gym leader? Yep. He was here talking about Pokemon types until just a few minutes ago. Maybe you walked right past him. By the way, Gio, will you have a Pokemon battle with me? I want to test how important items are in Pokemon battles. Well, let's see how effective my items are. Maybe I should test how well I can battle without items. Anyway, this is an indoor match, so let's battle without getting too rough. No, no. We're going to wreck everything. We're going to bring the ruckus. Um, so he leads with Starly. So that's actually kind of a threat. Uh, but we have Tank, and Tank is a beast. So we're just going to air cutter here. And uh, just clean take out that Starly. Nice. Also has Tepig, but Tepig should be taken out fairly easily with an air cutter from Beautiful Eye. Actually, no, it tanked it. Wow. Let's see how much... Oh, you just go for Tail Whip. You didn't even go for Ember. Alrighty, I see you there. So we're going to air cutter here, and I take out the Tepig. So sweet, we beat Sharon, and we didn't lose. That's a good thing. So learning to use items well is important to... Oh, here, Geo. I'll give you this hidden machine. Uh, I got cut, so I just gotta beat the gym and then I can go to the dream yard. It contains cut. Hidden machines are invaluable for explaining, but it's hard to forget them after they've been uh, learned to use it in the dream yard. Bye bye! Thank you very much, Sharon. Totes appreciate. Actually, that is gonna be pretty helpful. 
So we're gonna heal up real quick. Um, and then we're gonna attempt to use our elemental monkey a little bit in the gym, but it's pretty much just gonna be death fodder if we uh, need to sack something. So uh, here's Silen. Um, we will just read his text when we get into the gym. So right. Oh, yo, I'm Clyde. I'm the god for the trainers who take on the gym. We appreciate you challenging the gym. Take this to commemorate the occasion. Oh, uh, got a fresh water, so that's actually pretty rad. Um, and I believe we just have to step on the panels that are super affected the, to the types. Yeah, we do. All right, there we go. So we're going to take these people on. Uh, who's this first person? Welcome to the Strident Gym. Uh, care for a taste of battle? I'll, I'll serve up the first course. So this is just going to be a bunch of just terrible, like, waiter food pun things. So get ready for that. We're actually going to see how much an air slash or air cutter does. I know I have absorb, but um, absorb should take it out from there. And we'll get some HP back. So ideally, when we're looking at how I want to structure this team, there's a very slim chance that I can potentially pick up a, not a Volcarona, but a Larvesta at some point in the lock. Sweet, we got uh, roared out to Smugleaf. That's actually a good thing for us to be roared out to. So there's a very small chance that I could potentially pick up a Smugleaf. Or not a Smugleaf. A Larvesta. Later. And if I were to pick up Larvesta, I would immediately replace Tank. Because then we can... Because if you guys didn't know, Larvesta and its evolutionary line into Volcarona get Drought in this game. So if it had Drought, then we'd be able to run a Sun team really easily. And we would just absolutely steamroll people. So, if we do end up picking up uh, Larvesta, we will end up swapping it for Tank. Even though it'll take a long time to evolve, we can just grind it up, and it'll definitely be worth it. So, here's Hop-Hip. Hop-Hip shouldn't be too much of a problem, because we can just Air Slash, or Air Cutter. I'm, I get Air Slash and Air Cutter mixed up, and you missed your Poison Powder, so ha! That's actually really good. Uh, you're about to go into Slugma. We'll actually switch right here into Juvia and give Ju Juvia some screen time. Juvia probably won't be on the layout just because, um, really, it's not going to be added to the party with the exception of this one battle. So, or the exception of this one gem, unless I desperately need a third member or I need to replace a member after uh, we may potentially lose a member. Uh, so, so basically, Juvia will only be here if we lose one of our two Pokemon in the uh, upcoming gym battle. I'm just going to leave Tornado, though, because Leaf Tornado should easily take this thing out. We got that, and oh, wow, we missed. We, we didn't take it out, so that's fine. Um, but Leaf Tornado is a special grass move. It's actually very, very good for us, so hopefully we can uh, utilize that. And are we going to evolve right here? Are we going to evolve? Yes! Smugleaf is evolving! So this should actually help us, because it'll give us some extra bulk for the gym. And that great stuff. Oh, yes. Sur Servine power. Servine power. I don't think you're part dragon type yet. I wish you were, because that'd be amazing. I'm trying to learn Twister. Nah. Um, so that's the only move you end up getting. But, uh... Please be, dang it! You're not part dragon yet. That's kind of that's kind of annoying, because then we'd be uh, neutral to all the fire moves in here, and we would just steamroll people. Uh, we would just run train through the entire gym, and that'd be really rad. And we're gonna heal up real quick, and then we're going to put um, our elemental monkey Juvia in the front of the party, so that we can spam water gun until Juvia goes down, and then try to sweep things with a tank. And if I remember correctly, Chili's roster. Oh, whoops, I stepped on the wrong. Oh, no, I stepped on the right thing. If I remember correctly, Chili's roster is the five starters up to this point, which are uh, Cidequil, Charmander, Torchic, uh, Chimchar, and Tepig. And then he also has uh, the Fire Monkey. Um, semi. It's not Semi. It's Panseer, right? Welcome to the Shred and Pokemon Gym. I'm Chili. I light up things with fire Pokemon. I'm a water type specialist, and my name is Cress. Pleased to make your acquaintance. And my name is Silent. I like grass type Pokemon. 
Um, you see, uh, as for why the three of us, um, are, um, uh, here, well, are... Oh, now, listen up! The three of us will decide whom you'll face in a rotation battle. It'll be based off the f type of Pokemon that you first chose. That is indeed the case. And the partner you first chose was a grass type, it seems. Ta-da! The fire type Scorcher Chili! That's me! will be your opponent! Alright. So, let go! Time to play with fire, because you gon' get burnt. Ha ha! Fire puns. <laughs> so, uh, here is uh, Leader Chili. Okay, so looking at your team, I know for a fact that, that Charmander has Dragon Dance, so that's immediately scary. Hopefully we can just hit things with water guns, and he just goes for a smoke screen because he's overly annoying. Alright, I'm going to Hone Claws as uh, you go into this thing, and the reason I have Hone Claws is because it's going to raise my... Wow, you... Ah, he's just hard countering everything. <sighs> okay. The reason I have home claws is because it's going to raise my accuracy. But, uh, no, I don't want to rotate that way. Uh, but since he yawned me, I'm going to have to uh, go out and air cutter. So hopefully you don't yawn again, because if you just yawn spam, I'm actually going to be really mad. Uh, air cutter is going to clean take out Charmander. That's a crit. So that's actually really helpful for us. So we're able to uh, reduce... His amount of Pokemon. We're gonna rotate back this way. No, I lied. We're gonna rotate to uh, um, to Juvia and use Water Gun. Hopefully, okay. Nature Power goes to Try Attack. That's actually kind of scary. Don't ooh, status me, sweet. You don't status me. Um, I'm not gonna. I'm not even gonna be able to pick up the two at KO. Wait, but now I go to. Ugh, that's lame. That's lame. That is so lame. <sighs> Alright, but that's fine. Juvia has gotten off prior damage, which means we can come and we can... No, I, I keep rotating the wrong way just because I press whichever one and guess. Um, but I'm going to rotate then Air Slash, or Air Cutter. Uh, but we miss Air Cutter, which is unfortunate. Hopefully you don't status us. If you status us, we're completely screwed. Um, okay, so we're going to Air Cutter here. We're going to see how much this does to Pants here. That does nothing and you used to Bite. Oh, dang it. That's actually annoying. Um, we're going to rotate, JK, we're going to rotate and uh, hopefully get off a water gun before you do anything super scary, super scary, and you end up going for yawn, but it fails, so that's fine. I'm going to actually heal up a uh, tank real quick because it's a matter of do I want to heal up tank for free or Juvia for free. Uh, you end up just going for flame burst and I actually live. So that, that's perfect. I'm going to be able to do a heal up tank right here. Or not tank. I'm going to be able to heal up Juvia. I'm getting my Pokemon mixed up. And uh, is, he just keeps going for Flame Burst. Um, so I'm fine with this. Because I can heal up one more time. And uh, Juvia will be at full HP. You go for Yawn. That's fine. I think we'll wake up this turn. And uh, we can fire off a uh, Water Gun. What a gun. Wow, GV is still fast asleep. Okay, okay, I see how it is. Um, you went for incinerate, so you have a base 100 power fire move. Okay, so uh, we woke up, which is great, and so Panzer is almost gone, but uh, Panzer has an orange berry. So I think we're gonna have to heal up here. We're gonna be forced to use another potion on Juvia, and he's probably just gonna rotate out into Tepig and go for Yawn, cause you're that guy. Actually, you're just going for Flame Burst, so this is okay. This is okay. <laughs> I'm going to go for a Water Gun, though, as Tepig comes on out. Um, so Juvia is actually putting in a lot of work. Tackle. Okay, we're healing up again. We're going to... Oh, crap. We don't have that many more potions. So this is probably the last potion I'm going to be able to use on Juvia, because I want to have at least one chilling in the back for um, either Tank or Smug Leaf. So we're going to rotate this way. Yes, I clicked the right rotation button. We're going to go for Air Cutter. We're going to knock something out. Um, and at this range, I believe I knock out Pantsir, and I believe I knock out Cyndaquil. So that is that is the goal. That is the goal. Uh, you have Torchic, though. Um, I think I can take any hit from Torchic, so I'm just going to go for Air Cutter. Please don't miss. Yes, we hit Air Cutter, meaning that we take out Cyndaquil. We can do this, guys. We can do this. 
Uh, you go out into Chimchar. I believe we can take any hit from Chimchar. Please don't have, like, Flame Wheel or something. Are we going to hit? Oh, you have Protect. That's, that's actually really obnoxious. Um, so we're going to go for Air Cutter here as you just keep rotating. Um, we hit Torchic, and that does a, a good amount of damage to Torchic. So I'm going to go for Air Cutter one more time. Don't miss, don't miss, don't miss. Yes, we hit. Uh, so we're actually... <laughs> some, we're, we are somehow surviving with our team so weak to these fire types. Gonna air cutter, don't miss. Yes, air cutter doesn't miss. We take out the Panseer. We are left with just the Chimchar. Um, it's not over yet. One more left. This is where I give it my all. All right, we're gonna rotate. BRB rotating though. <laughs> we're gonna go for Water Gun here. Hopefully we can get off some solid damage. This you just end up going for Fake Out. Ah, that's annoying. And Juvie ends up falling asleep. So we're going to play the game of how soon can we wake up. You're using Embargo. So I, and so that means I can't use items, which is actually really bad. Use Torment, so I can't go for the same move two times in a row. Um, wow, e even if I'm asleep, it won't let me go for the same move twice in a row. But I get some good damage off the scratch, and uh, now I'm going to go for Water Gun. Um, thank goodness you're not like Embargo Encore, because that'd be... Or not uh, Embargo Encore, Torment Encore. Because that'd be so annoying. Um, so Chili's going to stall the inevitable and use a potion. I'm going to go for Water Gun. And I'm going to be able to take you out with another water. Oh no, I'm going to have to go for Scratch first. And Scratch is going to be able to take you out. So we impossibly pick up our first gym badge. I can't believe we actually won. We, we should have gotten absolutely destroyed. A team of six fire types should have been able to wear down one water type. I am burned out. We, we got a lot of money right there. That's actually good. Moolah. Whoa, you're on fire. Well, it's the Pokemon League's rules. Take this gym badge. Sweet. So we get, like, the uh, basic badge. No, the basic badge is um, the other lady. Uh, it's uh, le lady number two. Um, the base. Th this is, like, the element badge. The trio badge. All right, I knew it was something like that. Badges are proof of a trainer's abilities. If you have one badge, Pokemon including traded up to level 20 Pokemon will obey you without question. We also want you to have this. Team 83 workup, which I guess is okay. Team 83 contains a workup. If you use a workup, the Pokemon's at attack and special attack go up. By the way, teams can be used as many times as you want. Sweet. That's the great thing about Gen 5 is infinite TMs. You can use them as many times as you want, but oh, who's this lady? Hey there, I'm Fennel. Professor Juniper asked me to give you something. Please, follow me. Alrighty then. Um, you're going to meet all the Pokemon in the Unova region, am I right? Oh, the stairs are right here. My room is upstairs. Come on, go upstairs. This this is weird. I don't feel comfortable. So like I said, I'm Fennel, and you can see I'm a scientist. In fact, the subject I'm researching is trainers. Professor Juniper is my friend from college. He asked me to help you guys. So, I'll give you something to help you out. This is a TM for you. Obtained hidden power. And power is a unique move. Its power and type will change depending on your Pokemon's strengths. Why not give it a test drive? You can teach it to as many Pokemon as you like. I'd like to ask you a favor too. There's a place called the Dream Yard on the outskirts of Strident City. I, I'd like some of the Dream Mist that a Pokemon there called Mana gives off. Uh, with that, I'll be able to use Game Sync to collect save files of various trainers. Alright, so that's cool. So what we're going to do is we're going to teach Cut to Panpour. If Panpour can learn Cut. We're going to buy some more potions, and then we're going to go explore the Dream Yard. Um, yeah. I, we're not going to add Panpour to the party because we didn't lose anybody. So, unfortunately for Panpour, but fortunately for us, we were able to weather that storm. How many How many of these can we afford? We can afford eight. I'm going to go in and buy five. Spend a lot of money. Uh, how many Pokeballs we got? We got seven Pokeballs. We're going to buy three Great Balls. So we have 10 balls total. And then, do, do you have any full heals? No, you don't have any full heals. Uh, you have a paralyzed heal? I'm going to buy one paralyzed heal. We're, we're going we're gonna to buy a paralyzed heal, an antidote. Later, later when we get enough money, we'll buy full heals. An awakening. And I guess we're just going to have to deal with being frozen if that ever happens. So we have one of every type of heal, which should help us. And then, um, bag. Cut, please be able to learn cut. Um, Juvia is able to learn cut, so we're going to teach Juvia cut. 
um, get rid of home claws. Oh yeah, in this game, and this is one reason that Volt White 2 is awesome, cut is a base 60 power grass type move. And um, so that means that it can be, like, grass types can actually use it and get stab on it. Which will bring it up to, like, base 90 power. So that's pretty rad. Gosh dang it, I am just, I'm, I'm speeding up a little too fast. So we're going to switch to uh, the front with tank and then run over here and get our first encounter for the dream yard because uh, Juvia will be counted as like an event encounter because we didn't really have a whole lot of choice we had to take it for the gym match but oh here's Bianca hi hello Gio are you looking for the mysterious Pokemon too um I don't know can you oh wow you just whoa that's mana hey did you hear a sound coming from the other side of that wall? Come on, let's go see! Alright, okay, BRB. Oh, here's Mama. Mon. Oh, wait! We found you, Mama! Come on, come on! Make some dream mist! Alrighty. You guys need to stop this whole meme. Um. Who? Who are you? What are you doing? Talking about us, we're Team Plasma. We battle day and night to liberate Pokemon from foolish humans. What are we doing? The Pokemon Moon and Musharna emit a mysterious vapor called Dream Mist, which shows people's dreams. We're going to use it to make people who want to release their Pokemon. We'll show their dreams to manipulate their hearts. That's actually kind of clever. Come on, it's about the Dream Mist. You're kicking a Pokemon to make a give off? Okay, never mind. I'm not going to read in a girl's voice anymore just because I can't do it. <laughs> We're Pokemon trainers. We're, we're Pokemon trainers too, but we're fighting for a different reason. Unlike you two, we're fighting for the free of Pokemon. And setting Pokemon free means that we win Pokemon battles and take Pokemon by force. So, on that note, we're going to rescue your Pokemon from you. What? Don't hurt Geo. Okay, so Bianca being super protective, but it's okay. I got this. I got this, mine. You lead with a Trubbish. Um, so you have poison types. Just gotta be kind of obnoxious. I'm just gonna go for Air Cutter. And another reason I want to get a um, Larvesta is so I can get Quiver Dance. Double Slap hit five times. I don't think that's how that's supposed to work. But, um, wow, this hits five times again. Okay, I was going to say, did he give, like, Trevish Skill Link or something? Anyway. Um, once we get a Larvesta, if we get a Larvesta, hopefully we do, then we can... Go ahead and exploit Quiver Dance. Okay, so uh, we can do some serious damage with Bug Bite. But we're going to heal up real quick with a fresh Wowda. Fresh Wowda. We can use Quiver Dance, like I was saying, to abuse the fact, or to abuse Stab Boost to help sweep, gym, sweep gyms. And before one of the gyms has rocks. Frankly, it wouldn't surprise me. So we're going to heal up real quick. You'll use the Awakening. Use disable so air cutter is disabled. That's fine. You are a psychic type and I have a bug stab. Bug bite. Ha! We end up taking Drowsy out. So we could have just O code it and we didn't have to heal, but that's okay. You have an Ekans next. So uh, looks like we're gonna be hitting you up with that powerful air cutter. Oh, air cutter is disabled still. Okay, we're going with tackle then. Hopefully, you don't have poison touch. Okay, air cutter, please don't be disabled. Air cutter, please. Air Cutter, please! Work with me, Air Cutter. No! It's not working. Okay, we're actually gonna switch here so we don't get knocked out unless Air. Okay, Tank is no longer disabled. Hit Air Cutter. Are you kidding me? Come on, Tank, you could have easily died right there. I just need you to hit an Air Cutter. Here we go. So we end up taking him out. Uh, we're up to level 16, which is cool. Plasma! <laughs> Were you not were you not taking this seriously because they're kids? Well, whatever. I'm next. Uh, you, you ain't gonna let me heal up, dude. That's not cool. I do not appreciate. Me no appreciate <laughs> Um. So here's coughing. I'm just gonna go for air cutters. Air cutter spam. We almost take you out, and you have smoke screen. So that's dumb. That's dumb. That's dumb. We're gonna switch out though into a uh, smug leaf because we are actually getting a fairly well-rounded party. 
uh, coffin using tackle. That's okay. I'm just going to tackle on my own. How does it feel? How does it feel? Alrighty. So uh, Smugleaf is still doing pretty good. You have a Grimer. I should have switched out, but it's cool. It's cool, man. I'm going to go ahead and tackle as you you are using Disable. Um, so now I can't tackle you, so I am going to switch out into a tank. And hopefully not get Okoed by, like, Poison Punch. Poison Punch. No, the, um, what, what's the move I'm thinking of? It's the one that Muck uses uh, that gives it, like, a 60% chance to poison with a Poison Touch. It's... Dang it, I can't remember the name of this move. It's going to drive me insane. Uh, anyway, uh, you have a Cacnea, which is four times weak to bug. So uh, we, we got this in the bag. And uh, the next gym leader is normal type, if I recall correctly. So normal types will do decently against their team. Normal type is always just kind of kind of meh. I can't believe we lost, but we have to obtain the Dream Mist. Come on, make make with the dream mist. Knock it off. Guess this appeared out of nowhere. What are you two doing goofing off? Whoa, that's weird. We team plasma shall separate Pokemon from foolish people. If you cannot fulfill your duties. Th this isn't. Guess this when he is gathering followers. Or guess this when he is trying to control people by tricking them with speeches. Yeah. This is guess this when... When a plan has failed, when he's about to issue punishment. At any rate, let's hurry and say we're sorry so he forgives us. So there's a Musharna, so that's cool. What was that just now? That person called Guesses appeared all over the place, and it wasn't real, right? Could have been a dream? And that Pokemon. Oh! I couldn't wait, so I came over. Is that Musharna? Alright, so they just ran off. Did something happen? Oh, Fennel. Well, you see, Muna was here, but Team Plasma and Muna and Musharna came and showed us something like a dream. And then Team Plasma... I think I followed that. See, Musharna evolves from Muna. So seeing Muna in trouble, it used its power-making dreams in, into reality to save Muna. Which means, wait a second. Is this Dream Mist? With this, I can complete my research. You two come to my house later, okay? Alrighty. Um, so you're just gonna run around and do nothing. Cause you're Bianca, so I'm gonna heal up real quick. Um, where, 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 where's my healing things? Yeah, here, here's my super potion. That's what I needed. We're gonna heal up tank real quick. Then we're gonna try to get our encounter here. Alrighty. Our encounter ends up being a Nidoran. Okay. Hey, I'll take a Nidoran. Nidoran's actually pretty good. Um, I'm just gonna go for tackles until I wear this thing down. Wow, Nidoran gets sweet kiss in this game. Alrighty. I'm gonna go for Absorb because it's weaker and it's neutral and it's still neutral. Um, but I hit myself a confusion. Uh, you're using double sweet kiss. Is all you have sweet? Wow, tank, pull through, please. You have focus energy. I'm just gonna throw a Pokeball at you, Nidoran. Work with me here. Work with me here. Uh, I'm gonna go for a Great Ball though because Great Balls are cool. And we have ten Dive Balls. So that'll be helpful at some point, maybe. Sweet, we caught Nidoran. So we have a new member to, to our party. I am going to add Nidoran, uh, because Nidoran's actually really good. Nidoran, the poison pen Pokemon. It scans its surroundings by raising its ears out of the grass. Its toxic horn is for protection. Alright, um, yeah. We're, we're gonna, we have to give a nickname to Nidoran. And, uh, so I should probably name it something about king but i don't really like lebron james so i'm just gonna name you rick james <laughs> um because i i don't know why i'm just following the james i don't know i should <laughs> we're, we're naming it rick james okay don't question me that's gonna be the end of today's episode uh because we're hitting about 30 minutes right now on my audio recording uh which means after grinding it'll be about 33 34 35 minutes so, if you guys did enjoy, please make sure to leave a like, as it really does help show support for the series and the stuff that I'm doing here on the channel. Additionally, make sure to answer today's comment question of the video, which can be found on the right side of the layout, which is, uh, what is your guys' favorite Unova Gym Leader? And, uh, for me, that would have to be Clay, because Clay is just really, really cool. 
Additionally, make sure to subscribe if you guys are enjoying the constant content. And with that, I'll catch you on the flip-flop.